Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know It's been coming for some time And when it's over So they say It'll rain a sunny day I know Shining down like water, it's all fucked up, I want to know, have you ever seen it rain, on a sunny, hot, and humid day, coming down, on a hot and sunny day, it's weather my modification the sun used to be hot and it used to be cold when it rained I know that way for all my time until now through the circle of geoengineering fast and slow I know I can't stop to wonder where they'll stop. I just want to know, have you ever seen it rain when it's humid and hot? I want to know. Have you ever seen it snow when it's humid and hot? Yeah. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? Coming down on a sunny day. It's called geoengineering.
not caused from smoking, even though I did smoke cigarettes. Um, it did not help, we know that, but neither does breathing chemtrails. So there's more people today, especially women under 30, that are getting lung cancer that have never smoked, never will smoke, never did smoke. So people need to wake up. There's something going on in the air. All you got to do is look up. And you see the tic-tac-toe boards and the, uh, the symbols they're putting up there and all that, the, the mess around, whatever they're doing. You're breathing those chemicals. I've seen fibers that get blown around. Uh, last November, I held some. I tried to pick some up that were in my grass. They look like spider webs. When I picked it up, they melted in my hand and were gone, so they weren't spider webs. Um, you can do your own research on that for now. I don't have any official news, so I'm not going to comment on it. All I know is what I saw. I had two witnesses that were there, and uh, if you look up the research and the side effects, it's similar to what I have right now. I've got severe lung damage, uh, usually caused by environmental or genetic. I have no genetic history that I know of. I'm going to try and talk to some of my family, but I've never heard of anybody. management programs are an absolutely undeniable reality. The ongoing illegal climate intervention operations are decimating the biosphere. This includes further fueling catastrophic forest fires all over the globe. Those who ignore or deny what they can see with their own eyes, the profoundly altered aerosol sprayed skies, grid pattern skies on some days, with nothing on other days, are turning two blind eyes to the immense and ongoing climate engineering threat. Jet aircraft spray dispersions are often seen being turned on and off, which countless film captures prove is occurring in skies all over the world. We're not seeing condensation trails. Jet engines are not being turned on and off. We're seeing intentionally sprayed aerosol dispersions that are a primary aspect of geoengineering and solar radiation management. If jet aircraft are being used, in fact, for geoengineering and solar radiation management aerosol spraying operations, they must have nozzles, and indeed, they do. In addition to military tankers, commercial aircraft are being utilized in the ongoing geoengineering operations, though commercial carrier personnel do not appear to be in any way involved. Why aren't the climate scientists, like those in the National Weather Service and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations, speaking out? In addition to having no First Amendment protection, there is now an illegal federal gag order on all National Weather Service and all NOAA employees. 
Climate engineering programs are nothing short of weather warfare on innocent... If we use our common sense, the link is totally clear between the chemtrails and the aluminum content in the air and the diseases mainly of children. When babies are born, they do not have a blood-brain barrier, any protection. The inhaled aluminum ends up directly in the brain and is one of the main reasons for the whole neurological problems we see with kids. The number of children with neurological problems is rising exponentially in a clear correlation with the spraying in the sky. There is a lot of circumstantial evidence, but it would be relatively cheap if any government agency just flew behind the planes and collected the air. But so far, it is left to individuals like us to spend their own resources on providing the evidence, and that's a scandal. We do not have the slightest indications that chemtrails are real. There are only statements based on with the weather, and again, I focus on the weather a lot because I feel mathematically, rationally, if all the data is examined, the greatest threat to each and every one of us short of nuclear cataclysm, which we have happening now as well, is climate engineering, because you can't escape it. You can't walk out your door and take a breath without inhaling what the climate engineers are spraying. So yes, we face a lot of threats, but nothing can match that threat that's systematically decimating the entire web of life. How long can you hold your breath? So yes, the climate engineers continue to wreak havoc around the globe. The weather whiplash will continue as the U.S. and uh, around the globe, the climate engineering programs are ramped up to ever larger levels. We're going to see radical temperature swings that will continue these radically warm temperatures. To